Well, that was from disappointing bongs, Pete, because the ones at seven o'clock went on for about <laughs> half an hour. I thought I'm just going to get some good bongs just to get the atmosphere of where we've been. We had a cuckoo and bells. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so bonjour from Dol de Bretagne. Welcome to day five. We're off to Mont Saint Michel this morning. We're just packing up, clearing the Airbnb, getting our stuff ready. Um, we've got a towel dryer in the bathroom, which has managed to wash and dry all our kit overnight. Game changer. So we've got two sets of fresh kit all done, ready for the next three days. We're camping near Coutainville today, uh, up in Normandy. So we crossed the border from Brittany to Normandy today. We have a pan flat 40K, which um, is gonna seem really weird because we might actually make some progress early doors. So we're keen to get on the road and get some breakfast somewhere. Uh, hopefully there's a supermarket nearby because nothing was open last night, literally nothing. We managed to get into a, a kebab shop and a bar and that was it. <laughs> hopefully for better luck today, get some nice food um, and plenty of drink. We were craving some drink again last night. You peep, the sun's out. And the bikes are still there. They're still there. So we've just got our first glimpse of Mont Saint-Michel through the hedges, not really clear, but it's uh, getting closer and closer now. It's one of the reasons I wanted to come on this bike packing trip was to come and see it. So very excited this morning. Now we finally uh, got it within sight, Pete. Impressed? Oh, from here it's very impressive. We've been seeing it for about an hour. It looks amazing. Doesn't it just? And the sun's come out for us. And the well. sun has come out as well. First time on the trip. <laughs> <laughs> well, not the first time, but certainly uh, the right time. It's been a great day so Ah, uh, pan flat 30k or no 25k so far. Dried all our kit, we've recharged phones, power banks, had a nice breakfast, and it's been lovely. Yeah. It's been great. And it was somewhere then, I started to feel it. Covered in chaos. In chaos. You plan to go see some things in life at times and they disappoint and I can honestly say this does not disappoint. In fact, this exceeds expectations. It is spectacular up close. I mean, it just looks monumental. Hey, St. Michael's mate for you, Pete.
Here we go, Pete. Out the gates. Yeah. Do you reckon there's a crapery in there? 100%. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's engineering, uh, that, isn't it? Well, considering it's still relatively early, well, it must be about 11 o'clock ish. There's, there's a lot of people coming in. Yeah, 20 to 12. So get here early if you want to come in. That's the Mont Saint Michel in all its glory. Morning glory. Morning glory. On this trip, I've introduced Pete to Google Lens, and he's now Google Lens in St. Michael's Mount. Don't tell me it's come up and says it's Penzance in Cornwall. <laughs> this is this very important spot, this pilgrimage spot. Très importante. The next question is Mont Saint Michel worth it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. It is. I come here again. Yeah. How much would a ticket to get in be? I don't know. You're gonna sit back. Would you like to know how to dress for <laughs> on Saint Michel? Go on then. In the winter, they advise on windproof and warm clothes, and in the summer, remember to cover your head and stay hydrated. Done that, haven't we? Yeah. What is it at the top? Yes, they bring wellies. <laughs> no, the causeway is open all year round, apparently. You can walk across. Is it? Who owns? Oh, it's owned by the government. Okay. Big day, big, big day, big monument. Yeah. Finally found a pizza. Yes. And just sweet crap, all in one hit. And the sun's out. Best day of the trip so far. <laughs> C'est belle. Uh, looks like we're trying to escape Mont Saint Michel and we're not being allowed to because there's a bicycle race on. <laughs> I said there was a load of pros about. There's a helicopter overhead and the race is just here and the way we want to go is all road closed. So we've got to have a rethink. Et qui s'est reconverti cycliste à temps plein. Elle est championne de Bretagne en 2024. Elle a brillé également sur la pointe du Rhin. Il y a un grand écran. Où elle avait remporté Allez. notamment le Duc contre la montagne non, non, du euh... Matinal. Alors, right, so we've asked one of the uh, security guards if we can get onto our original route. Ah, uh, c'est non possible. So we're going to have to find a way to get back to the main road. And oh, not that way, Darren. Oh. And we're going to have to go to Ardenvon. We're going to have to be diverted around this race. How many more kilometres to the day? <laughs> it's a good job it's been pan flat. So Ardenvon it is. <laughs> if we can even get there. <laughs> Bloody bicycles. Yeah. Right, so the latest update is we've just come out of that junction there where the Mavic truck is broken down. We've asked the um, marshal if we can get across the road and he's let us cross over because we're now on Euro Velo 4. The race is coming down this route, but we still haven't gone away from the Mont Saint-Michel. It's over there, <laughs> taunting us that we can't escape. But we're, uh, we've got another race coming through. He's flying.
and that is actually the start of Eurovelo 4 again. So we're back on route. You yeah, were the pros we'd seen all morning were male pros. They were male pros, yeah. So unless there's a male race later on, there's a male. Farmer, what was the other team we saw? Arkea Samsic, um, Vondi, yeah. Thingy Rather. We did wonder. Makes sense now. <laughs> it does make sense now. Well, she seemed to be closer than the other one, but she doesn't look to be going as fast as the other one. What an aero position, <laughs> what? I think that the, the surface couldn't get any worse. Um. <laughs> the, the, the surface runs out. <laughs> I, th I thought you were <laughs> four was supposed to go to Ukraine. Not this way. <laughs> God. Back to the parallel road then. Where it's a Cherbourg. So we've arrived in Coutainville, um, which is on the bank of the River Seine. Um, we haven't booked anywhere again, so we've got four campsites in the area. We've just arrived at the first one. There's nobody here. The campsite is open. So we're thinking we're just going to go and set up camp and figure it out later. Um, but yeah, everything's open. There's people in here. There's just nobody to pay. Are you happy with that? Yeah, I've ended my ride, so we're still here now. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's people wandering about. The facilities are open. It's really quiet. It looks a nice site as well. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think we stay here. Just have a look on the map and I figure out where the pitches should be. We might struggle to pitch up there. There's not much space. <laughs> <laughs> you go that end, I'll go that end. Yeah. Ouais, bon. Ouais, bon, OK, merci. Bonjour. 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 Pouvez-vous accueillir des vélos uh, tout person? Uh, un petit peu de temps? Non. Non? Oui. Oui. <laughs> so, oui. Merci beaucoup. Pardon. So you might guess from that, we ummed and ahed about whether we should stay at the other campsite. There were loads of bugs anyway. Um, so we thought there's just one up the road. We've just been and tried it. And we're in this one, which is actually nearer the town as well. So win-win and they sell ice cream. <laughs> he's got his ice cream right so we set the camp up Pete's already on his way to go and get some uh, supplies we all strive to be more we all long for viva la vida around the corner I'll meet ya Snacks accumulated, football's just finishing. We're gonna get ourselves showered and uh, just walk to one of the local bars and have something to eat. And we have got 105 in the morning, was it? 105 to Cherbourg tomorrow. We've got a ferry at quarter past six over to Pool. And that is the last day in France, which is a little bit sad. But we, uh, we had a great day today, up until the moment we bumped in to the barrier which we later found out was the French National Road Championships and that was their time trial. And we just happened to bump into them. So, hey ho. Added an extra 11K to the trip. <laughs> so we weren't supposed to do 120K today, but we've ended up doing it. But anyway, bike pack in France is still amazing. Gotta try it. Now what was the highlight of the trip? Your crepe or Mont Saint-Michel? 
these lays. These lays. <laughs> no, both were really good. It was a really good day. Yeah, really good day. We had the weather on our side today. Some nice roads. Saw pro roads. Really yeah, really those good. those Eurovelo pass all the way up to Mont Saint Michel as well. They were was, pretty good, yeah, weren't they? The, the roads this morning were the best we've had through the forest. Yeah, yeah, yeah nice 40k of flat roads. <laughs> Only one more day to go. Yeah, oh, sad. Yeah.